6 9 a lot of questions still remain tonight for the family of a taco shop worker stabbed more than a dozen times by a customer. Not only are the suspects still on the loose, but now the surveillance video that captured the attack has gone missing. And 13 Action News reporter Tom George is live outside of UMC where that victim is still recovering from the attack. Yeah, well, Marcos Mendiola has been out here since shortly after he was attacked. He was rushed here to the hospital. and He's been there ever since. His family says he still has a long road ahead to recovery, but they're also concerned because his attackers are still on the loose and they want answers. It's been almost a week since Marcos Mendiola went from working in the kitchen at Roberto's like he's been doing for more than 20 years to sitting in a hospital bed. This is what he looks like today. He's still recovering from his stab wounds and also having some issues breathing. Authorities say Mendiola was randomly attacked Tuesday night by a group of angry customers upset because they wanted chicken on their carne asada nachos. Mendiola was stabbed 14 times and the suspects ran off. Today, his family says they've been left in the dark by police. They're also upset because they want the surveillance video to be released to the public. And so does Roberto's. Cameras captured the attack on video, but both Metro and the family say it was somehow deleted from the system after Metro took a copy for evidence. Metro denied that they delete it from Roberto's system, and they say it could have been an accident. When we asked them for a copy, they also wouldn't release it. Now, in the meantime, again, Mendiola is still recovering at the hospital, and to make matters worse, he doesn't have health insurance, and the medical bills are piling up. His family has set up a GoFundMe page, and the community really rallying behind him. That GoFundMe page already has almost $7,000. If you want a link to that, just look for the story on our website at KTNV.com. Reporting live from UMC, Tom George, 13 Action News.